Hey guys, what's going on? This is Ryan again with another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be going over batch rendering and scene states. Um, batch rendering is good if you don't have access to a render farm um, or uh, something similar or your internet's down and you need to get some rendering done. Um, you, can set, you can set your file up um, to render uh, based on what layers are on and then you kind of capture that and set up a preset and then we'll point to a folder and it'll just kind of go through each layer and you can set up a you can set up a bunch um, I think maybe up to like 15 or 18 or something like that if you have that many layers so what we want to do is let's see so I have a layer with a floor on it right up front here um, and then I'm going to I just want to batch render these two layers. So the first one, um, as you can see, has its own light setup, as does this. So it's okay if you have three or four layers with different things going on. Just make a note of that and then have them on before you um, before you save the scene state. Um, so what we have here is uh, camera four. It's a magnifying glass, and we're going to render uh, frame zero, one, and two. Okay. Same with uh, camera five. Um, zero, one, and two. We're going to be rendering these these three frames out of the of both. But what I want to do is set it up, hit batch render, and then I can go to bed and not have to worry about managing it or you know, checking on the frames and then resending it. Um, you know the second second part of it. So this will just kind of run on itself. Um, all right, so first thing we want to do is make sure our layers, uh, the correct layers that we want to be rendering are, are showing, okay? So we have our environment, which is our floor, and then uh, 04, which is the square magnifier. All right, that's all we need. Now we're going to go up to Tools, um, and then Manage Scene States, all right? It's going to come up with this dialog box. Uh, we just want to kind of just to make it easier, it's going to call it um, the SKU number, and what it's going to do is, um, I'm just going to grab all these uh, properties, um, I'm just going to call it by its SKU number, 922-728, alright, and hit save, alright, and then the second one I want turned on is uh, the round one, so I'm going to save this, 922-731, alright. So these are our two scene states that we want to render. Now, uh, what scene states doesn't save is your render output. So uh, what we want to do is um, open up our render settings here, um, and then make sure all your render uh, settings are set up, uh, your GI and your and your um, um, all your correct uh, render settings are ready to go. And then we're going to go to our frame buffer. Um, we're going to go to our separate render channels here. Let's point to a location we want to save in. Uh, in this case, we're going to go to, uh, uh, I made a folder, 922728. Let's screen this. Okay. And then after you do that, we're going to go up to presets up here. We're going to save preset. And then by default, it's going to go to your documents, 3D Max, render presets. We'll just put it in here, 922-728, all right, and then it's going to save all your your render um, render properties so from your environment, render elements, all your settings. So just hit save, all right. Now we want to do the other one, so let's go here, back to your separate uh, render channels. Let's go up to a new folder, uh, 731. We'll save that. All right, and then back up to preset. We want to save this as uh, 731. Cool. Now, once you set that up, and you know, if you have 10, 10 different layers, load them all up the same way. And then when you're ready to render them, let's go to rendering, batch render. Okay. I'll just delete these guys from home. So it's going to come up with this dialog box. We want to add a file. Um, we're going to go down here, override preset, 
and we're going to put in the frames that we want. We want a zero, and we're going to end it to. A width and height is correct. Pixel aspect is correct. And then we're going to name this uh, 922728. Uh, we want to go to our a uh, output path. We'll find that folder 9728. Nine two two seven two eight. All right. Okay. And then our camera. We want camera four. Scene state. We want seven two eight. Preset. Seven two eight. Cool. Let's not hit render quite yet. We want to add the other one. So go back up here. Click in this white box. Hit add again. Override preset zero to two. Everything's cool there. Uh, 922731. Let's find this output path again. Uh, whoops. 731. Alright. Camera. Uh, camera 5. Scene state. 731. Preset. 731. Cool. And then. Uh, once you load everything up that you want, you can kind of check the check everything up here. Just hit render, and it's going to go to the camera, to the um, to the frames. Just kind of run them all out, and you can go have a beer, or have dinner, go to sleep, whatever you got to do. Cool guys, let me know if you have any questions. Try it out, and uh, yeah, we'll see it next time.